So here's a similar setup to what I use over there for my hay. This one, the only difference is, is I've got a wooden frame all the way around it. Still got two cattle panels, still got that same cheap $10 tarp on there. I do put a little chicken wire on the bottom and then some fencing on the front. Build out a wooden door. Put some bracing in the back. You can see this is this is pretty pretty stout when you set it up like this. It's still flexible, still moves around. That's a five gallon water bucket. I just hang it off some carabiners off of the, the wire. That, that'll be 50 some pounds time it's full. No problems with that. These are set out here for, I've had this set up for eight, nine years. Never move them. I don't stake them down during hurricanes. If you wanted to, you probably could. Worst I've ever happened during Hurricane Zeta. This one moved about three feet, but never had one take off or flip over or any of that. So got a little latch on the door there. No problems with it. You could use this for uh, for birds. Uh, you could put you could probably put a make a dog kennel out of that. Whatever you wanted to do. There you go. Make a little greenhouse. You could expand this out. You could put three or four or five cattle panels. Make this go as far as you want. Make a little greenhouse in there. Pretty good setup. Again, one of these, I think I've got probably less than $200 in each one of these, and I got several of them. I'll put some more turkeys in there in the spring. And then what I do is I just move, I slide them forward. You can see this is where they were at yesterday. That's a little hole where their feeder is because they end up making a mess. I'll fill that in. Grass will all grow back here. It's all good. So there you go. Have a good one.